Ashley James Ash Williams is a fictional character and the protagonist of the Evil Dead franchise. Created by Sam Raimi, he is portrayed by Bruce Campbell and is the only character to appear in each entry of the series. Throughout the series, Ash has to face off against his loved ones inside an abandoned cabin as they are possessed by Diadites, the evil souls of the dead. He was named the 24th greatest movie character of all time and voted the number number one greatest horror movie character by Empire magazine. Appearances, as well as appearances in the films, Ash has been featured in various comic book series and video games. Films, in The Evil Dead, Ash and his girlfriend Linda, sister Cheryl, and friend Scotty and Shelley stay at a log cabin in the woods, where they find the Nature on Demento, the Book of the Dead along with a tape recorder. The tape is a recording of the owner of the cabin, who was translating a passage of the book. By playing the tape, Ash and his friends awaken the evil spirits who can now possess the living. Ash's friends and sister are consequently possessed and killed one by one, until he's the last survivor. He finally destroys the Necronomicon by throwing it in the fireplace, and in doing so causes the possessed bodies of Scotty and Cheryl to rapidly decay and die, and the evil seems to be driven back. However, the film ends with Ash being attacked or possibly overtaken by an evil spirit himself after leaving the cabin. Evil Dead 2 continues the story from the previous film, after a stunted recap in which the audience is introduced to Ash's girlfriend Linda and Ash himself, to the point where the evil spirit attacks Ash. From this point, the film continues the story from where the first film left off. Carried a good distance by the demon, Ash is slammed hard against a tree and falls in a puddle of water. He becomes a deadite, but shortly afterwards is released from the spirit by the coming of dawn, only to pass out. Ash regains consciousness moments before sunset. Deciding to get out of there as fast as he can, he climbs into his car and drives to where the bridge was, only to find it completely destroyed by the evil force. As the sun quickly sets, Said four starts climbing up the cliff, and Ash hops into his car, driving away as fast as he can and as a result, crashing right into a tree stump that sends him flying through the windshield. With the evil close behind him, he runs into the cabin, trying to hide, and ducks into the trap door, waiting until the evil force leaves. After it does, Ash comes out, only to find himself stuck at the cabin with the spirits of the evil dead for yet another night. Shortly after, Ash hallucinates that his reflection in the mirror comes to life. After this, a deadite possesses Ash's right hand, resulting in him having to cut it off at the wrist with his chainsaw. Later, the cabin owner's daughter Annie and three more people arrive. It's near the end of this film that Ash gets his famous chainsaw in place of his right hand, with the boomstick to match. The film ends with Ash being sucked into a vortex and traveling back in time to 1300 AD where the locals claim, according to their prophecies, that he is the man that falls from the sky, who will save them from the Deadites. Army of Darkness picks up right where Evil Dead 2 left off, with Ash landing in a medieval kingdom. Ash is accidentally transported to 1300 AD, where he must battle an army of the dead and retrieve the Necronomicon so he can return home. Ash must also defeat his alter ego known as Bad Ash who is leading the army of darkness to steal the Necronomicon. Ash constructs a mechanical prosthetic hand out of a gauntlet from a suit of armor, using it throughout the film in place of the chainsaw when it is not needed. The film is split into two endings. The first and intentional ending resulted in Ash defeating the army of darkness and being given the potion to sleep until his time. However, distracted by a sudden movement in the rocks, Ash drinks too much and awakens in post-apocalyptic London. A film then cuts straight to black and his insane laughter is heard. The second ending, and one more familiar with US and Australian audiences, consists of Ash simply riding off into the distance and returning to the present. Here, he boasts of his victory to his co-workers, but is suddenly interrupted by the possession of a female customer. After killing it, Ash is hailed a hero and he kisses a newfound love interest. Most home video versions, and Raimi himself, consider the original ending canonical, though spin-offs take place in the alternate ending, the video DVD release finishing with the post-apocalyptic scene with the present-day scene included after the credits.
Ash made a cameo appearance in the post-credits for the 2013 remake Evil Dead, in which he says his iconic line groovy, then looks at the camera. Campbell will reprise his role in the sequel to Army of Darkness. Literature In 1992, Dark Horse Comics released a three-issue miniseries written by Raimi himself. Accompanying it is Evil Dead, a comic retelling the story of the events of the original film. In this version of the tale, Cheryl is not Ash's sister, but just a friend of his girlfriend Linda, and the book is called Nasher and Demanto. The professor and his wife are depicted as younger adults rather than the middle-aged version seen in the film. The only character in the book that looks like their film counterpart is Ash. Every other character has been completely redesigned for this expansion. Dynamite Entertainment has made their own line of comics featuring the character. Army of Darkness, Ashes 2 Ashes are four issue miniseries that picks up directly after the film's ending, taking place on the very day Ash and his friends travel to the cabin, and leads into Army of Darkness, Shop Till You Drop a four issue miniseries. Another mini series, Army of Darkness vs. Reanimator, featuring Ash confined to a mental institution and forced to go up against Dr. Herbert West and his zombie minions, came out in 2005. In 2006, Dynamite started releasing an ongoing series, showing the events after the Reanimator crossover. The ongoing series ended in 2012. Ash appeared in Marvel Zombies vs. The Army of Darkness which takes place in the Marvel Zombies universe. The series serves to fill in certain gaps left in the Marvel Zombies storyline that even Dead Days didn't flesh out fully. The crossover lasts several issues, with Ash finally returning to his own world with Army of Darkness, from the Ashes. Dynamite has created several crossovers and side stories of their own. Tales of the Army of Darkness is a one-shot comic featuring several stories about Ash and the Necronomicon. Darkman vs. Army of Darkness, a four-issue miniseries features Ash teaming up with Darkman to stop the Diadites. Ash then starred in Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, a six-issue miniseries from Wildstorm and Dynamite Entertainment where Ash must face off against the horror icons, and then Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, the Nightmare Warriors, in which Ash joins forces with a support group for people who have both faced and survived Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees, consisting of previously established characters from their respective franchises, to defeat the two for good. Ash appeared in a crossover comic series with Danger Girl Abby Chase, with the first issue released in April 2011. In 2013, the main series ended with a final crossover with the reanimator in a one-shot comic, and a seven-issue crossover with Hack Slash during late 2013 to late 2014. At Comic Con 2013, Dynamite announced a reboot of the title called Ash and the Army of Darkness planned for November 2013, and will pick up after the final frame of Army of Darkness. Concept and Creation According to Sam Raimi, Ash's name is a reference to his originally intended fate at the end of Evil Dead, stating that's all that was going to be left of him in the end. Campbell, however, suggested the name was short for Ashley. When creating Army of Darkness, Raimi toyed with giving him the full name Ashley J. Williams, which was later used by video games and comics involving the character. Campbell later confirmed in Cinefantastique that the full name was official. The character is also referred to as Ashley by his sister Cheryl in the original Evil Dead. Bruce Campbell has stated Ash is incompetent at everything except fighting the Evil Dead. Campbell also added that Ash is a bad slow thinker and a good fast thinker. He knows some degree of hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques, and shows prowess with a variety of weapons in various situations. His main strength seems to be his ingenuity, although he is repeatedly noted in the audio commentaries for The Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 for his stupidity and ignorance, he has from the second film on been shown creating such things ranging from his chainsaw bracket and shotgun harness gunpowder from mainly referencing its elemental makeup in a chemistry book, a fully functional prosthetic hand from a metal gauntlet, and the short-lived Death Coaster. His invention and ingenuity are further expanded on in the games, in Evil Dead, Regeneration, he creates fully functional weapons such as a flamethrower and a harpoon gun from spare parts that are merely laying about. And in Evil Dead, a fistful of boomstick, the inventiveness seems to run in Ash's family, 
as his blacksmith ancestor in the colonial Dearborn level is quickly able to make a flamethrower and a gatling gun from spare parts Ash finds for him, when Ash says those things haven't even been invented yet. Ash's personality and state of mind change drastically throughout the franchise. In The Evil Dead and the beginning of Evil Dead 2, he is something of a laid-back everyman, but by the middle of Evil Dead 2 and into Army of Darkness, he has grown into a much braver person, and becomes the voice of encouragement and confidence in Arthur's castle. It is at this point that Ash becomes known for his one-liners, and his personality takes on a more cynical, embittered tone. Raimi has said that he feels Ash's personality transformation in Darkness was very out of character. Characteristics In The Evil Dead, Ash is portrayed as being cowardly and incapable of dealing with the horrors presented to him. Over the course of the film, Ash gradually overcomes his fears and manages to fight off his possessed friends. Also, he is shown to take his predicament very seriously in the first film, rather than in a comedic manner, as in the subsequent films. Evil Dead 2 portrays Ash as a braver character. Campbell commented that in the film Ash is more than capable at fighting off monsters. The character gradually became more of an anti-hero within Evil Dead 2 and its sequel, Army of Darkness. Ash's most defining characteristic is the chainsaw attached to Ash's right knob, placed after cutting off his possessed hand in Evil Dead 2. Ash's dark side manifests itself as a separate entity, referred to as Bad Ash. This persona first appears in Evil Dead 2 where Ash experiences a hallucination wherein his reflection torments him over dismembering their girlfriend with a chainsaw, and proceeds to try to choke him, only for Ash to realize he is choking himself. This side of him later splits off his body in Army of Darkness after a battle with Tiny Ashes, becoming Bad Ash. Ash seemingly kills his doppelganger and buries him, but Bad Ash is revived after Ash incorrectly recites the Necronomicon incantations. Bad Ash later leads the army to King Arthur's castle to retrieve the Necronomicon, even corrupting Ash's then love interest Sheila. He battles Good Ash for the Necronomicon, gets burnt with a torch, and continues fighting as a skeleton. As Henry the Red's troops arrive to assist in the battle against the undead and break their ranks, Ash coincidentally cuts off his alter ego's right hand and catapults him into the sky on a liter sack of gunpowder, which explodes and destroys Bad Ash. In popular culture, the character of Ash has also made appearances in video games starting with The Evil Dead, a video game adaptation of the first film. Ash later made appearances in the follow-up games Hail to the King, A Fistful of Boomstick, and Evil Dead, Regeneration. Ash is voiced by Bruce Campbell in each of these appearances. Ash also appears as one of the opponents in the crossover title Poker Night 2, where he is voiced by Danny Webber. The character was parodied in an episode of the Canadian CGI series Reboot, in which a game based on the Evil Dead series was being played. The hero of the game, and thus the antagonist to the show's main characters, was an Ash look-alike whose only lines were groovy, and, once defeated, and dead before dawn. Ash was parodied in several episodes of The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy as Host Delgado, voiced by Diedrich Bader. Evil Dead the musical is a loose musical adaptation of the film series, mostly combining the plot elements of the first two films. The musical is notable for being one of the few times when Ash is not portrayed by Bruce Campbell, but Ryan Ward. The role in the musical is soon to be taken over by Michael Scott Wells. Experimental pop artist Derek Milliken created a large mosaic portrait of Ash out of Halloween candy and spiders as part of his Totally Sweet series in 2013. A pre-order bonus for the game Lollipop Chainsaw, a game that revolves around zombie slaying, was a Nash Williams skin for the game's protagonist, Juliet. Reception Ash ranked 11th on UGO.com's Top 100 Heroes of All Time list, describing him as an egomaniacal, complaining, misogynistic goon, but also the best demon and zombie killer ever to be portrayed on the silver screen. They additionally praised the character for his humility at the conclusion of Army of Darkness, in returning to his own time. Empire ranked him the 24th greatest movie character on their list of 100, calling him a truly iconic horror hero, and a delirious, delicious, dim-witted parody of action heroes.
he was also ranked number 77 on Fandomania's list of the 100 greatest fictional characters, and number 1 on WatchMojo.com's top 10 horror movie heroes. The Evil Dead movies and the character of Ash influenced many 1990s first-person shooters such as Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, and Blood. Duke Nukem quotes so many lines from Ash that Bruce Campbell stated that he was angered by not being paid for them. Another notable video game character influenced by Ash is Eliza Boskonovich. In an interview, Tekken Project Director and Chief Producer Kazuhiro Harada said, Eliza's quite popular overseas as well. Personally, I didn't think we would get much of a following. We usually do research for new characters, but Eliza was something we created based on internal staff feedback. We really wanted a character with chainsaws on her arms. Script writer Di Sartre then asked, influenced by Ash by any chance? Harada replied, exactly. I'm a huge fan of Sam Raimi's Evil Dead. I just didn't think Eliza would catch on, considering her vast differences from the other characters. References External links The official Bruce Campbell website, Ash Williams at the Internet Movie Database, Bruce Campbell Dadites Online